really think that Run and White. I have been saying hardcore all season. Like, I'm just because I feel like she's so good on the show, but she. Doesn't. I don't. I don't think so. But the more I thought about it, look at Vicky. Like, if they have to look at if you let Dorit go, that changes nothing. Because Erica is so like Dorit's like Erica, Kyle, and Rinna are so. And the thing is, they would never get rid of Kyle ever. They love Dorit. I mean, when I was. I was super close friends with. Um, Do you know that I went to high school with Dory? What? Like hands of God. Connecticut. Where'd she come from? Connecticut. I mean, I saw old pictures. I mean, she's stunning now, but I was like, stunning. She's had a real blow up. <laughs> she is like, I mean, girl, just admit you got a nose job and all sorts. But she now, to me, her style for me is like the best. If like, it's yes, just I, my style. I agree. Like, if I, I mean, if I had that money and could look like that, I don't think she's really done anything that I don't like. And a lot, you know. I don't I, understand. But, to be honest with you, I think this went through. I don't even understand the yeah i did i don't understand her money i don't understand those outfits i mean those outfits every outfit and like she's not getting free clothes from balmain and louis vuitton no No way very very short so like like she even if she was a sample size she wouldn't fit them because she's short and you have to give it back so i i wonder about their money all of the time me too i'm like fuck where'd you get all the money you spent you know PK, I mean? well, I'm I'm blocked by PK because someone asked me when I went on a podcast, they said, you know, Erica and Jen Shaw, who's next? And I said, I don't understand PK and Dorit. Like, I'm, that's my honest opinion. I don't think it's, I don't understand where their money comes from. That's all I said. And he sent me a DM like, you went to, because he he knows I went to high school with Dorit and like, you are, I'm like, I I stand by what I said. I, I, it I think doesn't, we all wonder. And if we all wonder the home invasion, like, I mean, not, I think it was real, but all of my friends that watch the show are like, that's an insurance job and blah, 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 blah. Like, well, like they, they took that phone and they left the phone. It's just, there's too many things wrong with it. Yeah, I don't, and I, I feel like if they're on the show long enough, it will come to fruition. We will find out. And that's it. The only thing I think about Dorit saying is because of that and her kids are cute and we need to see kids and but other, if she didn't have PK for me, go away. And Crystal. I mean, I forgot to bring up Crystal. Which not Crystal. Oh, I mean, I don't. I just, because I, I, I don't really think Rinna is going to go, but I do think they're going to try to bring someone back from the past. That's going to, I think that, I think Kim makes the most sense. You would be my second person that I would, if someone asked me, I think Denise has said recently that she would go back, but she's not going to get all that money. Right. So I, I don't think that Kim is in a space. There's too much personal things happening with her family. And I don't think that she's going to want to talk about those things. Not with Kyle, but with like her kids and everything and it's going to get brought up because it's in the news so have you gotten a call brandy no i mean but i text andy all the time like we text it what they'll do is they like they did with tamara they'll wait till the very last second they'll give you an offer and say take it or leave it so they don't have to negotiate she didn't know until like after we got back from new york which is a week before they started and I assume, I'm just assuming, because I talk about this all the time. I mean, everything's confidential now off air because I don't gossip. I don't care. I assume Tamara got a pay cut and it was like, take it or leave it. I want to ask because we're close now, but I feel like that's an in-person conversation just because like, I don't want to say it just through a text because she's never going to, I'm like, but I feel like they would probably at least say, we're going to pay you what you were getting, maybe, or this is it, take it or leave it. Cause she was getting a room. I think she was getting like in the nines or way up there. That's the over room. a million. She was getting over a million dollars. I mean, I, I, I could see it both ways. She could say no. And there, who else from the past OC would go back? And There's nobody. Like she, when we were in New York, she was talking to everyone about it. She wants like, I need to know Eddie's up for it now. Like she was letting them know that she wanted to do it. So they knew. So there was no, there was no negotiation possible. I don't know if Kim, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense is you, Kim or Denise, who else Denise would go for Rinna, like the jugular, you would just go for everybody. 
I mean, when you felt like it, like there's no who else in the past is there. There's nobody. They, they, they have to they have to change it up. I'm not really bored with it, but the world is. No, I, I mean, and I don't really feel like Crystal fits in. I feel like she's so much younger than everyone else. And she does play the victim a lot. And like, she doesn't really fit in with any of the people. And she does come off a little bit like, I'm better than you. I don't know. Maybe Andy will start texting you and asking you what you're up to. Well, I have a feeling if that happens, it'll be after they shoot the reunion, right before, and they haven't shot that yet. And right before they start shooting, you know? And you were also, I was going to ask, I mean, you were also, you know, you were a fan favorite on Girls Trip. Like, I feel Girls Trip did you, not that you care, but I feel Girls Trip, like, only helped. Like, I think it hurt some people, like, put the nail in their coffin. I think it helped you. I think you were, like, a fan favorite. I mean, I, I've i not gotten more nice things. <laughs> Usually I get all the hate. I've gotten really nice things, like, social media-wise, and I'm just like, Really? Okay. I mean, I got, you know, there's always some hate, but I'm just like, I just got out of COVID and I'm going to have a good time. And like, I think it was the perfect mix. Blue Stone Manor, people just got fired. People have been gone for a long time. And it was like the perfect mix of people at the perfect place, the perfect time. You were like the voice of reason. You're like, listen, Dorinda, there is no pause. So let's just clear that up. And you were like lighthearted when you had like a dark Dorinda and thirsty jill and just it was just the, and no i'm not shading them i'm just saying no, like you, they could have had like three more episodes they just didn't want to pay us because so much more shit went down and it was hilarious and horrible and maybe they'll do like an unseen thing because there was so much but they couldn't they said the, the like the head of bravo they emailed all of us like this is the best show we're we put out out of all of the housewives franchises ever this is our favorite and so we were all like wow thank you wow and the next one I don't think will be that good with like Heather Gay and Whitney if they're employed they don't really have to work for anything I know they have to make shit happen and And Portia Portia's not really my favorite I don't really think she's that interesting I don't know that's just me yeah I don't I don't I thought I would miss her on Atlanta and I don't so Atlanta needs a rehaul. Do you think? I I can't get into it this season. I just can't. I I mean, I like everyone. I love Marla. I love Sheree. I love Candy. I I just can't get into it for some reason. I just think they are so lucky they have Marlo and they gave her a peach because she is driving the ship. And thank God, I mean, not always in the right way, but I mean, thank God for her. I just had her on recently. I mean, Marlo, I've loved from the beginning. She's another one. She's been good to me. She always comes on this show. So it's like. She's, she, for me, I was always tweeting about, give that bitch a peach. <laughs> give her a peach already. I'm like very simple. If you come on my show and you do my show, I like you. And then certain, <laughs> certain people.